I've spent an awful lot of my recent time working as a frontline clinician uh, on the intensive care units in Manchester. COVID threw a sharp focus onto the way we use PPE. A lot of it is brought in from, from other sectors. We're using it in ways that it's not designed to be used for, typically for longer periods than it's uh, designed to be used for, uh, and in environments that it's not designed to be used for. The face coverings are quite restrictive. They're necessarily tight-fitting, which makes it quite oppressive to wear. They can damage your skin of your face. It's very difficult to communicate with our colleagues. It's also really difficult to communicate with patients. And we're having very difficult conversations sometimes with patients uh, about their care, uh, sometimes about end-of-life decisions. And it's really difficult to have those conversations in an empathetic way if someone can't really hear you. Hi Pete, my name's Ad, I'm one of the doctors here. How are you feeling? I was approached by Designing Science and the University of Manchester wanting to know was there anything they could do to help us uh, working on the front line against this COVID pandemic. And my response was, we need better PPE. With a hood that looks a bit like that. We wanted to move away from masks, we wanted PAPRs, but we wanted them available for everyone who needed them. They had to be effective and they had to be available. Most PAPR units are over-engineered for what we need in the healthcare sector. We've designed and engineered the bubble PAPR to be as simple as possible. There is a yoke that sits around your neck, which contains a filter and a fan, which draws in air through the filter, cleans it and blows it up in front of your face. It's got no electronics. It's got no active moving parts other than a motor. It's as simple as we can possibly make it, easily cleanable. The hood is one piece of plastic that can be easily disposed and even recycled. We've tested it in the lab and we know it performs its primary function, which is to protect staff against inhalation of airborne viruses. We've also now tested it in the simulated clinical environments that we would use this device in, and that includes high-risk uh, situations such as intubation, managing cardiac arrests, but also looking after patients more generally and, and communicating with staff. The cardiac arrest, can we get the crash trolley please? The reaction from staff has been overwhelmingly positive. When they saw something that wasn't restrictive on their face, that allowed them to communicate to their colleagues, that was pleasant to wear, allowed them to interact with their patients, they were made up. So we need this product now, and that's what's driving us to move things so rapidly. Hi, is it Pete? Yeah, hi, hi. My name's Ab, some of the doctors. Hi, nice to meet you. We also can see what's happening around the world, and there's a finite supply of PPE. And so if we can bring a useful addition to the PPE market, we're sure that this can help.